Hi, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Canvas Studio to embed quiz questions into videos. First, we need to activate Canvas Studio on the left-hand side in our course navigation. Scroll down to Settings, click the Navigation tab here, and then locate Studio in the bottom half of the listing. It doesn't say Canvas Studio, it just says Studio, so be aware of that. I'm going to drag that into the top portion of the listing. The order doesn't really matter at this point. And then I'm going to come down to the bottom and click Save. Now you'll see that Studio is listed in my course navigation. It's important to note that students will not see this. This is only something that you can see. So now I'm going to click on Studio. The first step is to add a video. So I'm going to use this Maroon 5 Memories video just for demonstration purposes, and I'm going to get the URL for it. So I'll click Share, and I'm going to copy the URL, and I can close that tab. Now back in Studio again, I'm going to up here click Add in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to use a YouTube link. So I can paste that link right here, and then click Add Video. Now that video has been added to my Canvas Studio. The next step is to add quiz question. So I'm going to come up here, these three horizontal lines, and click and go to My Library. Under My Library, you'll notice that this Room 5 video has been added. I've added it a couple other times for demonstration, but here is the latest add. Under the three dots, I'm going to click Create a Quiz. You can enter a quiz title, so I'll just put demo quiz, and then a description if you would like. You also can choose to hide the question markers on the timeline for students, which I would recommend doing, so they can't tell when the questions are going to come up, so that they are going to have to watch the entire video. For us, I'm going to leave that off so you can see what this actually will look like and see when those questions are coming. And then I'm going to click get started. Now I can pick spots in the video to add questions. So I'm going to click just this 30 second mark and then I'm going to add a question here. So in this case I'll choose true false but you see you have several options here. And I'm just going to say mark true as the answer to keep this easy. And so obviously the correct answer is true. And you can go ahead and offer question feedback there if you want, just like you do in other quiz building engines. I'm going to leave that blank and click Save. So in a similar fashion, you can add multiple questions along the length of the video. I'm going to just click Done. Now you're going to notice that a little rocket appeared up here in the upper right hand corner. Before it was blank, but now there's this little rocket. That tells me that a quiz is attached to this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually embed this into a page. So I'm going to go to my pages and click view all pages. And there's a test page I created earlier, but you could come over here and add a new page. So here's my test page and I'm going to click edit. So now under the plug here, you're going to see that Canvas Studio is an option. I've used this before, so it's appearing. You may have to click View All and search for it, but it will pop up. One thing to note also is if you have your screen zoomed in really far, something like this to make the font bigger, that plug will appear under these three dots here. In my case, my screen was zoomed back far enough that it just appeared. So now I'm going to click Canvas Studio, and it's going to allow me to search for that video I just created. So this was the latest one that I created, and I'm going to click Select. So here I'd want to put Video Quiz Embed, and you'll see that I can select my demo quiz. If I created multiple quizzes, which you can do, you can attach a different quiz to the video in different locations but I only have the one, so that'll be available to me there. And then I'm gonna click Embed. And now my video is embedded into this page. 
so I can scroll down and click Save. And now if I chose to place this test page into my module or link to it somewhere in the course, students would be able to get started, watch the video. At the 30 second mark, it would pop up the true false question. And then they'd have to answer that to complete the rest of the video. Now, in this case, you're going to notice that there's nothing here being graded. They're just going to be opting to watch this and answer the questions. If you want to have this graded, you're going to want to make it an assignment. So I'm going to click Assignments. And I had created this little Test Canvas Studio assignment. And I'm going to edit that. So it's, again, just a Canvas assignment. And what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to use the plug. That would just place it into the content for display. I'm going to come down here, and you can specify your points, what group, if you're going to show the points or complete, incomplete, all the same things you do for other assignments. And under Submission Type, you're going to pick External Tool, and then click Find. Under Find, you should be able to locate Canvas Studio. Note this time it actually is called Canvas Studio, not just Studio. I'm going to click that, and it's going to allow me to select my video. And I'm going to click the Video Quiz Embed option, and once again, select that Demo Quiz, and click Embed. And then this is where it's a little bit strange. You actually have to click Select at this point. So you've selected that quiz. And it's going to generate this URL that's going to automatically serve that quiz up and attach it to points here. So you'll see this quiz is worth a half a point. You can specify attempts. You can use the assign block the same way you use it for anything else to set due dates and available from and until dates and also some exceptions here for various students or sections. And then you would just click Save. Now this is an actual assignment. So if you were to insert this into your modules, when students got to it, they would have to watch the video and answer the question to get credit for that assignment. Thank you. For more tutorials, check out our YouTube channel, Online Education and Training. For upcoming workshops, check out our website at oet.fullerton.edu.